you're at a garage sale. You're poking around, crockery, doilies, and you find this painting. And you know quite a bit about art. And you immediately recognise that this is a work by quite a renowned impressionist painter. And it's priced at five bucks. Oh. So you're going to take it up and say, I think this is worth a little bit more, or are you just going to snap it up as is? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> There's no, that's not a moral dilemma. You're just asking me, will I make money? Yes, I will. <laughs> I'd buy it for $5 and then sell it for a million dollars and I wouldn't feel bad about it. You know why? Because I'm a capitalist living in a capitalist country. <laughs> That's right. I said it inside the ABC. <laughs> Shit! Are we in a free market? Yes, we are. What if the person selling it looked, like, really poor? To be fair, if they looked really poor, I would know that they were more desperate and I'd try to bang them down from five. <laughs> I think we've found the person in the world impervious to moral conundrum. <laughs> it does pain me to say it, but I do agree with Tom because I, I do actually think he might be a bit of a sociopath. But <laughs> a garage sale is where you go for bargains. You're going for the bargain. Like, there's no point in not getting a bargain in a garage sale. That's the reason they exist. I love that you're putting this on because, I mean, I know you would feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I didn't mention that the garage sale is actually being put on by your neighbour. Your elderly oh. neighbour. Her name's Peggy. Oh. She's lovely. Yes. You've known her for your whole life. And she needs to move into care because her beloved husband, Frank, died and she needs oh. to get rid of some things, including that painting. Are you still buying her for five bucks? Oh, that is a very tricky dilemma. Well, now I know <laughs> that she's moving into care, I'm thinking there are more bargains to be had. <laughs> Answer your question sincerely, Annabelle. I would break into her house <laughs> and steal more shit. Okay, you pay your five bucks. Okay. With absolutely no compunction whatsoever. Okay. And as you do, Peggy says, oh, I'm glad you like this painting because um, it's got a beautiful story behind it. My great grandfather, Fritz, brought it to Australia via Argentina oh. um, after the war. Well, at this point, I'd be really happy about my lack of historical knowledge. <laughs> and I'd refuse to learn any mistakes from the past and just enjoy the profits. So, you, to be clear, you don't even care about making a profit from Nazi theft. Like, that is still within your comfort zone. Um, well, you'd have to prove that it was stolen. <laughs> You've really cornered me here. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit like a coalition politician on Q&A. 